Alright guys, more for it. I am bringing you a tutorial today on how to make a lovely looking colour correction in After Effects. Uh, you will need a magic blur look, so don't be going, oh I can't get it because I'm on 64 bit or anything like that, because I have um, a 64 bit computer, so, and I did get that. I just put in something like how to get magic blur looks for free. It's a 64 bit or something. I can't really remember. Uh, yeah, I've got it and it's beautiful. So, <laughs> anyway, we'll get on with this. Um, so, basically, the color correction is just a nice, simple color correction around the sides. Uh, it starts to like fade into a, like a black and white, like gradually go into a black and white bit in the middle. So, there's not much color there, and then there's nice, a nice glow there as well. So, it's very nice on heavy rock songs. Especially with the flicker over it, so the glow's just flickering a lot, and um, it's nice and trailers as well. So yeah, basically, I've just took a snapshot from my Vegas project. As you can see, this isn't a movie; it's just an image. Um, I've just gone into my Sony Vegas and just taken a picture uh, using the button above the preview screen. If you don't know how to do that, then I'm sure you'll find out somehow. <laughs> so you might be using your montages anyway, so you probably have a full montage here instead of or just a trailer or a little something so basically I'm dragging on a bit is it, you want to grab your uh, thing and then go down to this button here which is make new composition so you've made a new composition so this is your raw clip here <coughs> sorry about that um, so you want to just type in here looks or go to effect magic ball looks so just drag that on and basically you just want to find a nice looking color correction um, I like this one, um, Berlin, which is in a uh, music videos categories. Um, you could go into horror or something. That one looks pretty nice. You could just you could pick anything, but make sure that on it you want to delete diffusion. Uh, if there's any diffusion or anamorphic flares or anything, just delete them because I get in the way of this. And on this one, to get like, because that's very blue, I don't really like it as much. I'm gonna delete the saturation, delete the warm core, and delete that saturation as well. So, uh, also, the saturation, I delete that as well because we're gonna be using that later. So, I've got a pretty simple color correction. Probably do for a montage actually because it's quite nice. But we're making an advanced one here. So uh, this technique does use a lot of masking. So, um, I'll guide you through that if you're not very good about it so don't worry so basically you want to make sure you click this make sure you got it highlighted and then go to layer pre-compose and take move all attributes into the new composition then ok so as you can see in effect controls where we had looks before we've now got nothing so it's empty um, so now in this bit you want to add a control C to copy this layer here make sure you select it and then control V or control D which is just a duplicate so we've just copied and pasted that layer here so we want to go up here and get the ellipse tool you might not have this so you can say it does say a Q there so if you've got you might have a rectangle which is what I usually have when I load up After Effects so just press Q a few times and it just changes through all the tools you can see so I now have a circle tool so you want to get it up a bit, it doesn't really matter how you draw it at the start but draw a circle about like that go back to the selection tool <coughs> and just double tap the circle so I can just move this around, I can just change the sizes of it uh, but it's a pretty good s circle actually <laughs> quite proud of it um, so you've got that so as you can see we'll add looks again and then you want to go over here onto I uh, do not know I think it's subject yet yeah, subject saturation and drag it onto post then go over to like the grey bit here uh, like a grey along that yellow line there as you can see and then type in here 30 so your saturation is 30% as you can see there that looks horrible you've just practically lost the effect of your colour correction aren't you really but it's really it's quite, kind of brightened up the whiteness so the sky and the snow it's been brightened up a bit and it's also lost all colour I, I think I've said that but yeah you look at that and you think what is that that is disgusting so you just go into your mask which you've just drawn and then over mask feather put in I don't know about 200 something 200 looks pretty nice 
sorry, I keep coughing. I don't even know. I ain't got a cold. Just my throat's here. So yeah, you can see it just gradually goes into the black and white. It looks pretty nice. Um, you could change the mask. You could put that to whatever you want. Put it too much and it'll disappear. Put it too little and then it'll just jerk into it. So I'm just I'm gonna stick with. I'll just put it put it about 210 for that. So now we've got that bit done. We want to control control. Uh, grab these two layers here. So you see, you just need to make sure you've grabbed both your layers. Then we'll do another pre-compose. So layer pre-compose. Move all attributes into new composition. Okay. And then we're going to control C and V. So copy and paste it, or do a duplicate again. And then we're going to add a mask again. So make sure you've got the circle tool. And then you're going to zoom out a bit. So say 25%. And then draw it like that. So you want the bottom bit of your so go back to the selection tool so go you want the bottom bit of your mask to be about halfway across the screen you can make sure this is halfway by just adding the title action safe you can make sure it's in the middle just on that cross there sorry just toggle on mask thing um, so yeah I've got uh, got it there it's looking nice nice mask there so <laughs> Really, what we want to do now is add the glowing effect. So, we'll add look to that. Edit into matte. I think I don't know if it's pronounced matte or what, but yeah, add a diffusion. And then we will pick for this. I think and just sort of an orange one. So you could copy those colours there if you want to get the same one as me, or you could just mess around with this wheel, try and get one. I wouldn't use a green one, it, I just don't think it looks nice. It's a bit overused now as well. Um, so just, yeah, just like an, an orange, yellow one, whatever you want. You can always change it later if you don't like it. So then over to the size, change that to about 15. The grade will put up to about 4.5. The glow turn it up to 100 or about 90 and then the highlights only to about 90 as well so press ok on that and you can see it just jerks into it so the mask and change that again to about 150 this time maybe and then I'm going to change that again because that looks quite red it does look pretty nice as well but it's not really the colour I'm wanting so maybe that, that there yeah that's looking nice and then you've got that but it's not really a powerful enough glow if you know what I mean so I'll go back in you can mess with the grade again so I'm I'm just gonna bump this up to about five five point two or something and then I'm gonna go to the looks and then control D for duplicate so it's just duplicated that there um, so as you can see these two are practically the same actually Um I've done, managed to do that quite well Um this one the um, glow is a bit brighter but if you want a brighter glow you can always just go back into the looks change the grade a bit or the size whatever just mess with that and if you want more black and white just mess with the masks so it's basically the key to this is really just masking around everything and you can really just get a nice colour correction to suit you you can really make lovely lo lots of loads of colour corrections um, by masking a lot so yeah this is basically it um, thanks for watching guys uh, I hope this has helped if it hasn't and you've got a problem just leave a comment I'll be sure to respond as soon as possible um, yeah that's practically it so yeah bye